Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to conduct a one-sample t-test and construct a one-sample confidence interval for the mean using R. The one-sample t-test and confidence interval are parametric methods appropriate for examining a single numeric variable. We will be working with the lung capacity data set that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will examine the variable lung capacity. We can conduct the t-test and the confidence interval using the t.test command. To access the help menu in R, type help and in brackets the name of the command you would like help for, or simply throw a question mark in front of the name of the command. Before beginning any analysis, it's useful to examine a plot of the data. One may produce a box plot or a histogram for the variable. Now, let's get started with the t.test command. Suppose we would like to test the null hypothesis that the mean is less than eight. Further, we would also like to have a one-sided 95% confidence interval produced for the mean. These can be done using the t.test command. Here, we would like to do the test on the variable lung capacity. Our null hypothesis is that the mean is equal to eight. The alternative is a one-sided and specifically less than. The confidence level that we would like to use is 95%. Here is the output that R returns to us. We can see the test statistic of negative 1.384, the p-value of 0.083, the 95% confidence interval running from negative infinity to 8.026, and recall this was a one-sided confidence interval, and we are also returned the sample mean lung capacity of 7.86. For most arguments within R, we often only need to include the first few letters and R will know which argument we are calling on. For example, it's enough to only include CONF and for the alternative, ALT. If instead we wanted to produce a two-sided hypothesis test or confidence interval, we can achieve this by setting the alternative to two dot sided. Here are the results for our two sided hypothesis test and two sided confidence interval. It's also worth noting that a two sided test is the default in R. So if we do not include this argument by default, R will produce a two sided test. Suppose we would like to produce a 99% confidence interval. This can be achieved by setting the CONF argument equal to 0.99. As we have seen earlier in this series of videos, we can store results of the test in an object. I'm gonna go ahead and store the results in an object called test using capital letters. Here we can see the results of this t-test are stored in this object. One final thing we can discuss in this video is the attributes of an object. The attributes command will allow us to see what attributes are stored within this object test. Any of these attributes can be extracted from the object test using the dollar sign. For example, we may like to pull out only the confidence interval, or we may want to pull out only the p-value. While these last few steps are not completely necessary, for performing simple tests, it can be useful when conducting more advanced coding or analysis. In the next video in this series, we will discuss the two sample t-test. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.